Hello, it's time for my October wrap up, the books that I've read this month. Um, how many did I read? I read six, which doesn't sound a lot, but there were six really good books that I enjoyed. And I am still thinking at this moment, which is going to be my book of the month because they were all really good. The first one, I'm surrounded by books here. The first one was this one, and it's um, part of the book along this that I was wading through. And this was The Fortune Men by uh, Nadifa Muhammad. And this was a story that is based on fact, and it focuses on a young British Somali and his life in Tiger Bay in the 1950s. And it's very, very emotional book because as the blurb says um, when a shopkeeper is brutally killed all eyes fall on Mahmood but he isn't worried he thinks the British justice system is the best in the world so it's the story of Mahmood and his relationship with the people in Tiger Bay and what happens to him when all eyes fall upon him really really emotive book absolutely love that one the second one I read was one of the net galley arcs that was sent to me and it was by Isabella Land and it's coming out in January and it's I think it's January called Violetta and it's the story of a woman who's reached a hundred and she's writing a letter to someone she loves more than anything else and she is telling him the story of her life warts and all and she is a fantastic character and it's a sweeping life story because she has really lived a life full of heartache and passion abuse and despair another one that is excellent sorry about the wind outside um, next one another booker Great Circle by whoops by Maggie Shipstead and a huge book this is why I only read six this time and it's the story of Marion Graves like it's fiction a Marion Graves who sets out to circumnavigate the planet and disappears. So you've got Marion Graves, Marion Graves' story, and interwoven with this, you've got the story of Hadley Baxter, who is a movie actress who is going to portray Marion in a film. I love this one. It was full of characters brilliant characters I love the parts with Marion in but not so much the parts with Hadley in but an excellent read I'd love to see this as a film actually the next one was another on on the booker list and this was China Room and beautifully written this one was and it's the story we've got two timelines 1929 Punjab and the story of Maha who's in an arranged marriage and 1999 her great grandson who is has gone to the Punjab to try and get over his heroin addiction before he goes to university so you've got these two timelines and the writing is absolutely beautiful Maha was 1415 when she's put into this arranged marriage on the same day she and two other girls were married to three brothers but because of the traditions at the time none of them knew which brother was their husband because they were had to look they were veiled all the time and had to keep their eyes down so they never knew who their husband was the fifth book was another net galley and this was a middle grey, uh, so a young adult, and the Blue Book of Nebo. And it's set in a world seven years after the end. So we're in a dystopian era, it's a dystopian landscape. And it's a story of Rowena and her son Dylan, who live in this isolated farmstead. 
and they've got this book and each of them writing down their thoughts. Marina's touches on life before the end and what's happening now. Dylan's is more about the end because he was only a child when the end came. We don't know what the end is. The characters don't know what the end was. So we're all in the same boat, none of us know. They've all got secrets and the ending is really, really profound. Another one that I really liked. And the final one, um, I only finished this one last night, and it's Richard Powers' Bewilderment, the last one off my book, a long list. And this is described as an American epic with a global subject. And you've got two threads running through it. You've got the relationship between father and son, and you've got I ideas about climate change, the environmental disaster that's heading this way and it's the interweaving of these two stories and very thought-provoking the ending made me cry but a lot of endings do and this this i think out of all the books i've read this month this is the cover that is absolutely gorgeous this is my favorite cover book of the month i said i hadn't quite made up my mind but i think i am going to go for for that one because of the story it tells and the emotions in it this is my book of the month so let's see what november brings so happy reading take care <laughs>